positioning. <laughs> All right, let's 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 do it again. Let's do another one. Three videos one day. Brush my hair. I really feel bad about <laughs> my hair. You know, I I would usually silver videos. I like act like a silver silver stacker. I. Don't care what I look like because I don't go on the camera and you don't actually see me anyway. So, I've been watching Richard. This is Richard. Um, I did not do that with my uh, ledger uh, wallet. And you live, you learn. Now, nothing bad has happened to me, thank God. But if you buy from a second or third party... Say on Amazon, you take the chance that somebody bought your wallet. So this is also Richard. Welcome, my friends of the interwebs. Man, it's kind of chilly in here. 72 degrees. <laughs> now listen, I just got back from Kentucky a couple days ago. And uh, when I left, I did not leave the window open. Are any windows in this house? I showed her. Richard owns a mountain in Kentucky. That's a crazy story. Right next to Pinhead's Mountain. Flat, flat lick. Flat lick. <laughs> okay, anyway. Down. When I came in, this said uh, 99 degrees. That's right, 99 degrees, and uh, yeah, kind of crazy. Opened up all the windows, put on the whole house fan, sucked out the hot air. But anyway, in the process, I turned my S9 off because it was... That's 99 degrees in the wintertime. What happens if, when you hit summer? You're going to have to move outside. And even then, you know, when it's 105 degrees in July, uh-oh, I don't know. I don't know anything about Bitcoin, so. It's getting awfully hot. Now it's chilly, but it's getting awfully hot. I'm going to turn it back on here in a second. But the addition, whatever. They painted it green. So he bought those two units, used them to make the money to buy this, this unit. And so what he's doing is he wants to invest or buy, operate, own whatever uh, one of these look to have 16 those are bitcoin mines units each unit average is probably 300 bitcoin miners Taking electricity that could be used to power electric vehicles, using it to make heat and solutions to equations that you can trade, the solutions to equations. So you can't put that many of them inside and afford the air conditioning, so they stick them outside. So he wants to have his own outside units, which is a good idea he wants to he wants to solve equations and then sell the equations solutions if I'm right is that what Bitcoin is because I've always thought that that's what Bitcoin is Bitcoin puts out an equation person who solves that equation the fastest has has added the value of he has the solution to that equation even if nobody, nobody gives a damn what the equation is, you know, it's not like you're solving, you know, a, oh, a, a curve um, on a, a fender for a Ford truck, you know, and you need to get all your little tangent points right and, and uh, 
and design it. So the truck looks right. No, this is just like, uh, just, I guess, they're random equations. I don't know what Bitcoin is, and maybe that's the problem that, uh, that I have. So, I just left Richard a comment. Richard had, uh, d did a silver video, sold him up a silver, and he had bought a, uh, man, look at the cartwheels on that. Wow. This is the place. I should shoot cartwheels from right here. Anyway, he bought a silver eagle and did a video on why he thinks Bitcoin is better than silver eagle. And he, let's go back. Let's go back. Welcome, friends of the interwebs, and look what I just got today in the mail. <laughs> that is correct. This is a Tangem wallet. I'm not going to open it up for you guys, but I will tell you this. I am super excited. Tangem is supposedly... So, he had a silver dollar, a silver eagle, and he asked the question, can you eat a silver, can you eat silver if... I guess it was, if we have an EMP, can you eat your silver? And I'm thinking, if we have an EMP, can you eat your wallet? Your Bitcoin wallet. Our Bitcoins, silver's not any good, it's not edible. Okay, I should go get my stack of, you wouldn't believe how much spam I have. And cans of green beans and... I don't have so many Denny Moore stew cans anymore because I have a tendency to eat the Denny Moore stew and the chili runs out. I'm going to have to go get it. I'm, I'm, I'm not looking forward to buying another stack of chili, but I need to do it because the price of chili is going up fast. And it's probably better investment than the silver or the Bitcoin because I like it with some Ritz crackers. Anyway... You can't eat the silver. You can't eat the Tangent Wallet either, Richard. Okay? The EMP stuff is just a bunch of more of that fear porn. Okay? It's fear porn. I mean, if there was such thing as this EMP weapons that they're talking about, wouldn't the United States have already just set one off? over there in Ukraine and Russia? And wouldn't have Russia just set one off in Ukraine and just shut everything down? What is it? Is it like, well, they won't use them because if you set off, if one country sets off an EMP, then all the countries are gonna set off EMPs. It's them, stop feeding the damn fear porn. Jesus. So anyway, yeah, uh, you can't eat the wallet, and you can't, I can't eat this wallet either, I mean, can I, all right, if we have an EMP, okay, are you going to be able to eat that credit card, debit card, are you going to be able to eat your debit card, okay, that's not the whole purpose. The purpose is that this coin is made by the United States Mint. It is a product of the people, the, the taxpayers of the United States paid to have this coin minted. This is a, I don't know, 1880. 1895, seven, I got my glasses on. But that date's impressive because that's a relic. You can't eat it, all right? But it's a fancier hat than yours is. For me, I prefer this hat, you prefer that hat. If I need to trade my hat for something to eat, well, I'm glad I cleaned it yesterday. 
<laughs> okay. The idea is that a Federal Reserve note is not manufactured, produced by the taxpayer of taxpayers of the United States of America. A Federal Reserve note is produced by the Federal Reserve, a private company within the United States of America with a charter, which is an okay, a license to produce granted by the government. And the value, all right, the eat your part, it's not can you eat the dollar, it is can you use the dollar to buy petro to put in the tractor to make the food that you're going to eat, okay? It's a private company, it's a piece of paper, it's credit, it's a note, it's not money, this is money. The mint makes money. Peter, Judas, whoever it was, 50 shekels or however much, all right, 2,000, the car, the Carthage, Carth was running on this stuff. Carthage, Rome, everybody run on silver, all right? Only, only rich people have gold, so... But the average everyday guy's just running on silver. That's, you have to have a medium of exchange. Okay? And that medium has to be somebody that agrees on that it's value. And if they can buy gasoline, petrol with it, then it's valuable. But if they can't buy gasoline with it, or they could go to another country that produces a lot of gasoline but doesn't use that federal note, they use some other note, okay, to sell their gasoline, then that other note is the one you want to use. That's the one you're going to get your food out of. You're not going to get it out. You're only going to get food out of a federal note if it's, if it's, if, if you can buy Petro with it from its producers at a cheaper price than you can another country's note. But silver and gold don't work like that. It don't matter if the note is made from that bank or this bank, you know, whether it's a bank in Russia, whether it's a bank in America, it doesn't matter who made it. They look at it, they know it's silver. They take a torch to it, melt it down, slam their face on the front of it, and they use it. But you can't just slam your face on, on a tangent. Like you can't slam, put a new face on a, on a $1 bill. Uh, you just make new $1 bills or $1 one ruble bills or whatever paper money is being used to trade um, for petro, petro gasoline in whatever particular country. And, you know, likewise for electricity and natural gas and so on. But this can be melted down in any country and pay for those items. This silver goes beyond borders. And that's that's why people stack it to save themselves from the Great Depression. And I think I got some silverware up here that saved some butts in the Great Depression. And that's a long Bitcoin Morgan Dollar Silver Eagle. And there's a difference between 140-year-old year relic, okay, and a brand-new Tangem wallet and a brand-new Silver Eagle. People put value and always have put value on relics.
and I ain't no relic.